Welcome back Wonderlanders. It's officially day two. I was confused for a second because I thought it was day one, but it is day two. Christopher Darius. What up? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all on the couch. It is 8:35. I wanted to be in the parks by now, but it's okay. I just noticed. I don't know how well you can see Chris, but because it's focusing on me right now. It's okay. I'm just a blurry blob. They can hear me. They can. They know oh, they presence. can hear you all right. My presence is here. So, if you haven't guessed by the ears, we're going to Animal Kingdom and. Early entry is officially opened, and we are not there just yet, so. See you <laughs> So let's grab our things, yeah. get going, but before we go, let's do our OOTD. You gotta show them the fit, you know? We got we got that swag, that sauce, you know, that, that Disney sauce. Blurry little head in the background. It's all right, again, they don't need to see my face. They just need to know that I'm here. All right, I'm gonna go first. And if you guys watched our vlog, our previous vlog, I wore an Old Navy athletic dress and I'm wearing the exact same style, just a different color. And I have to show you girls, it does come with shorts. Now, I did put a second layer of shorts on because for our thick girlies, thighs rope together, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, athletic short dress. I do have the same New Balance sneakers on with my little crew socks. These sneakers are fantastic. Same bracelet, magic band, but I have my cheetah sequined ears. I got these from Disney World when we went, Chris, back in 2020. So yeah, you love that's those ears. Fit. You only wear those in Animal Kingdom. Well, and I'm a I'm a cheetah leopard print type yeah. girl. So and you also really, you really love those dresses too from Old Navy. Yes, I <laughs> I have way too many now on this trip i only brought the one that i wore yesterday is a navy blue and then i wore and i'm gonna wear this one which is a brown obviously but i have like purple green white black i mean i have so many of them but but anyway i'm going on and on enough about those dresses chris it's your turn <laughs> i wanted to go with the whole like uh you know trekking in the outback or the 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 african safari type of vibes so i got this shirt on amazon Gotta like it, you know? It's big uh, Animal Kingdom vibes. And then you gotta go with the, you know me, the fanny pack. You know, this gives me like, you know, Africa, safari type of vibes. You know, maybe a little hippie, I don't know. But this is really good. So I'm wearing my just the athletic running shorts again, just in a different color. It has the inner liner, which is really good, but. And then my safari hat. <laughs> you can style it different ways, you know, you can also do it this way, check it out, check it out, wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> can we get a 360? 360, sure. 360. <laughs> He's so tall, I can't fit him in the whole frame, guys. I am pretty tall, I'm <laughs> too. Sometimes some of the characters, when they come to see us when we're, we do like character dining, and uh, I stand up to take a photo with them. Remember Stitch did it? And he was like... Yes. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm digging the Animal Kingdom vibes. So, I think we're ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to, I'm hungry. Yeah. So, let's do it. All right, guys, let's go to Animal Kingdom. What? This is our dad check as we're going out the door. Tissues, hand sanitizer, battery pack. Wallet, credit That's cards, ID. Yeah. Everything. All right, let's go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Turn off the light. Save some energy. All right. Woo. Feels Started. Great. <laughs> yeah. This morning is starting off the same way as yesterday's. Cloudy and overcast. Can I propose from now on? Can we just start Animal Kingdom? <laughs> we normally cup. do. But man, like, we came in day one and it was just like, bam, Epcot, walk, 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 e, 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 e. Like, I'm tired. I'm just joking. But for real, can we do Animal Kingdom first next time? Sure. 
So another perk, being a pass holder, is they are special entrances in all of the parks. And we get to do the pass holder entrance. Oh, good morning. Good morning. There we go. Thank you. Now, did that feel good, babe? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so are we sticking to our normal thing? Are we going to Dino? No. Yeah, we can go to Dino. You know where, where to go? Yeah. All right. Good morning, Animal Kingdom. So when you get down to the Tree of Life and you hang a right, this path is going to split into two. From here, if you take the left side, it'll bring you to the Asia area. But if you go to the right side, it'll bring you to what's known as of today, Dino Land USA. But Disney. Yeah, they're gonna switch it up. Yeah. We're not sure, there's rumors, right? Or have they specifically said what they're gonna turn it into? It's just rumors right now. Disney's hinted at possibly bringing indiana jones that would be awesome yeah it is confirmed it's going to be a south american vibe but yeah. what ipo nobody knows that's why everyone's thinking in Kanto. but but yeah this is the current state as of may 2024 but just so y'all know kind of just take a side note the reason why we're going this way is because everyone is going to Pandora it's the most popular part of the park it has the most popular rides and we go this way because there's no one usually over here it's everyone's going to Pandora so if you're a first-time Disney Explorer or maybe if you've been coming to Disney for a while, maybe you don't know this tip, but if you're gonna rope drop animal or come a little bit early, go straight to Dino Land, get um, dinosaur out of the way. So by the time you're walking back to the other rides, people are now starting to come this way. So, Flight of Passage has yeah. an 88 minute yeah. wait right now. Look at that, and dinosaur has like a five minute wait. Yeah. It's up to you. Chris and I have never bum rushed Pandora. We've always paid for the premium yeah. lightning lane. And you know, I, I always recommend people to, I know Genie Plus is expensive and it can be kind of confusing. It can be. But there are numerous videos and information out there to help guide you through it. And it's totally worth it. And I would budget a little extra money for your Disney trips to make sure that you can do Genie Plus. Because again, it's worth it. Um, especially if you're doing like a short trip. Maybe you're here for like two or three days. And you want to do everything, just pay the money and you'll you'll be able to do almost everything. So, a little Wonderlander fact. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates, we're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the Iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? Commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out before the asteroid hits. Let's roll. <laughs> okay. Now let's go get that dino. 
They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! Mission accomplished. You made it! <laughs> I knew you would. And guess who made it back with you? I better find you before security does. Thanks for everything! Well, Wonderlanders, that was possibly the last time we rode Dino. We will see if Disney shuts it down. Chris and I are gonna peruse the shop real quick, see if we can find like a pin or something, uh, just to kind of snag a piece of history because we don't know how long this is gonna last. Finding anything? <laughs> Nothing. They do have some, you know, clothing merchandise and, and hats, but there's nothing that really says like dinosaur, like the actual the ride. ride merch. Yeah. Interesting. Well, there you go, guys. Unfortunately, we can't buy a piece of history. It only exists in our memories. <laughs> Chris. Oh Lord. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We are saying goodbye to Dinosaur as we know it for the time being. Is that really going to be the last time we ride Dinosaur? I don't know. I, I just... Disney wants to change it soon. I know that. There, yeah. there hasn't been an, a date announced yet, but, you know, the rumors are this year. So... You know, it could be next week. It could be six months from now. Yeah. That's just how Disney works. You know, they don't announce things until they have it 100% button up. Take Tiana's, for example. We've been waiting for the Tiana's announcement for months. And they finally just announced it, what, like a couple of days ago? And it's... Uh, for the most part, was when it officially opens, yeah. And it's going to open in June. So, a month and a June half. June there you go. So, a month and a half before the opening, Disney announced it. So, they really wait till the last minute to do so. But, we are on our way to the safari and we'll see you guys there. There she goes. The famous Kevin. Gonna go find her babies. Every time I see Kevin, I never have chocolate to give her, so. Oh, that's right. She loves chocolate. <laughs> Kevin's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wonderlanders, checking in now. The sky looks a little bit gray. So I'm watching the radar, and it's definitely going to rain, mm -hmm. but I don't know how bad. But once this passes, that's it. It's pretty much clear. So yeah, and it's sprinkling right now. So yeah. the plan, the revised plan, is to get on flight of passage because our lightning lane is up now. Yeah. And it's inside. So we're gonna do that, and then probably get some breakfast afterwards. I'm hungry. Okay. Let's. That's the plan. Let's go. Oh. They just announced that they're building. <laughs> Welcome everyone, I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a Banshee. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Siva Ko, rise to the challenge. Good luck.
Wow, guys, that was awesome. Welcome back. This is the current state of affairs right now. It's pouring. Chris is taking footage of his green grog ale. And we're waiting, waiting out the rain real quick, guys. We just got off of uh, Flight of Passage, which was great, but yeah. This is this is the life of uh, a Disney goer. Green beer. <laughs> Chris is happy. That's pretty good. I normally don't go for green beer because it's just food coloring, but it's tasty. It's like a cross between a sour and like a regular beer, like a PBR or something. Nice. It's really good. And in my hand is the Marshall's favorite breakfast sandwich, I'll grab it. which we had the last series on our honeymoon series, and we had to get it again. This is so good. So it's it's a stuffed pancake with uh, sausage, egg, cheese, and guava jelly, and the pancake is actually. Um, the last time we had this, it tasted like it was like made out of masa. Yep. So it's like almost like a giant pupusa. Yep. It's delicious. It's a must-have. And it's big enough where Samantha and I can split this and you know carry us over for a while. So. Yes. So it is 10:30 on the dot, and we're just chilling, yeah. waiting for this to pass. No rush. So I've been tracking the weather <clears throat> through the Weather Channel app and watching the radar, and it says about around 11 o'clock. We have a small band of just this weather. Yeah. And around 11, it should clear up and we'll start seeing clear skies. So. Then we'll be able to go on the safari. We got held up a little bit, so. So we're trying to kind of wait. We want to go over here, but it's really full. So we're yeah, as you guys out. can see. Yeah, we're just kind of hanging out here for now until maybe that clears up a little bit so we can kind of find a spot. So. Yeah. Cast members are being cool. They're letting us chill right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're at uh, Pongu Pongu. And Pandora. Great spot. So I couldn't wait. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna take a nice big first bite. <laughs> it smells good. Is it as good as last time? <laughs> a nice warm hug. Wait, gotta wash it down. This is grog ale. Chris and I are like hovered together. <laughs> I am beyond happy. Words cannot describe my happiness right now. It's very good. I will point out real quick, it is not available for a snack credit. You have to pay out of pocket for this one. Yes, this is true, but it's worth it. And you can totally eat this on your own, like one person, but mm -hmm. if you're with like, you know, with someone else, I would highly recommend the splitting this because it is pretty heavy. But man, you have to get this. Please, do yourself a favor and get this. This is one of my favorite breakfast snacks. Really? Of all time. Like, and Chris outside doesn't of do parks. breakfast. Yeah, I'm not a big breakfast eater. I, I normally, my first meal is usually like one o'clock, but not in Disney. Nice. But yeah, get this, please, please. As you can tell by our scenery, we have seeked refuge in Santuli Canteen's patio. So we are outside, but we're under this beautiful umbrella giving us a lot of coverage from the rain. And it did slow down a little bit. Yeah, it did. So yeah. it looked like the prediction through the radar about it clearing up by 11. Now it's looking more closer towards noon. Yeah. But that's fine. I mean, I'm not upset. Things happen again. The moral of this trip seems to be just go with the flow, and absolutely, that's what we're definitely doing. <laughs> I will point out one fact about rain: it tends to drive the crowds away. So if you can wait it out yeah. in the parks, yeah, I say do it. Yeah, Chris, check the radar, and like he said, it's around noon. It'll be fully clear. Another hour or so yeah. ish. And the weather, I mean, it's nice and cool and breezy right now. My, my hair's up finally, so we're just chilling. I'm not, I'm not complaining, honestly. Yeah. So with that being said, we do have a lightning lane for the safari. 
and we do have an hour to get to it so I'm gonna leave it as is for now yeah. and then I think I'm going to start getting lightning lanes for tonight we are going to the Magic Kingdom tonight and we have a six o'clock reservation for the Crystal Palace buffet dinner can't wait yeah. prime rib baby I'm gonna eat so much prime rib it's gonna be great and Wonderlanders, there is a good chance that this might be a part one, part two, depending on how much more we can get done in Animal Kingdom. We'll see, but if it is not in this video, stay tuned for next week's vlog and we will show you our Crystal Palace adventure. Can't wait. Oh, you just make me hungry just thinking about it. I know, it. I am hungry, but we're trying to hold out. We don't want to have Santoli Canty. We want to go over to Yaki Yeti Quick Service because we never had that before and we want to show you yeah. that too. So, we will check in in a little bit and uh, see what happens next. Yeah. Cheers. It's slightly drizzling now. I'm sorry, the stabilization. I, mean the I have my camera in my backpack. We're on my phone right now. So, bear with us. I'm sorry. But we're uh, going to the safari. Our lightning lane opens in about 10 minutes. So, we're at least going to get a head start and get on the safari and get that done. How was your beer? Delicious. I'd get that again. That was pretty good. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I normally don't like green beer, but that was good. <laughs> and it's drizzling at this point, not even. I think what we're feeling right now is the excess water dripping down from the trees. Yeah. So well, let me we're tell you something. Of that. It's cool. <laughs> like weather wise. It feels great. It like it's cooled down a lot. So it feels good and uh, we'll catch you on the safari. <laughs> sound like duck. No, we sound like SpongeBob in that episode where he got those black boots. Remember, and he walked oh around. Oh my the God, you're squeaked. right. And then Mr. Krabs boiled them and then ate it. And then every, I think he got like the hiccups and it would squeak. Oh my God, yeah. that's great. So there's a bridge behind me that Chris and I just walked through. This bridge loops Africa and Pandora together. So you don't have to go in the normal way. This is kind of a secret passageway. All right, let's go to the safari. The only member of the giraffe family outside of the giraffes. Wow. They have an identical skull structure, the same long tongue, similar body shape, just a much shorter neck. Could you imagine being able to lick your own eyeball? They can hold their breath for about five to eight minutes. And then a reflex in their body will allow for their heads to come up out of the water without wow. having to wake up. Wow. Crocodiles as well. He's walking. 16 to 20 feet long, about 500 pounds. And they have the strongest bite of all animals in the world. Okay, let's see a fight. Take a look at their tongue there. We saw it earlier with the Yokapi's tongue. 12 to 18 inches long, purplish or black in color to prevent their tongue from getting a sunburn. So an elephant of his size would eat over 300 pounds of food a day, every day. About to square up. And sometimes they like to spar, they like to fight with each other, but they like each other. It's just why they're nearby. If they didn't like each other, they wouldn't be near. That's why the other male is not with them. But you see how they open their ears? They're intimidating each other, making themselves look bigger. Whoa. You see, there they are. 
gonna die. He's fucking playing around. <laughs> 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 Alright, we're gonna They sleep for about 16 to 20 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> And they're all about working smarter, not harder. The lioness does actually most of the work in the ride. She does almost all the hunting. And they provide lots and lots of milk. The milk is very sweet and nutritious. And these little guys make a big impact on all the other animals because the families and villagers here can sell their milk products as a source of income and financial stability instead of having to rely on hunting wildlife. That was the best safari trek we ever took. That was really awesome. That was really cool. The animals came super close. Yeah. The giraffes were super active. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was awesome. I, I think it's because of the rain. Also, they were feeding them. So yeah. we went uh, just before 11, mm -hmm. like 10, 45-ish, and they were all out. I mean, yeah. we saw every single animal. It's beautiful, the best one. That's what I love about that ride is each time it's always something different. Yeah. And that was the best one. So. We had Jared was our truck driver. Yeah, he's so really good. Thanks, Jared. You really made our day. Yeah, knocked it out the park. <laughs> so now we're going to do something that we've never done together, mm -hmm. and that's the, uh, I don't know what it's called. The Gorilla Falls Trail. That's it. So we're going to go check out some gorillas and some monkeys, and so I think there's some there's a place where you can see like a hippo and some fish and yeah. all that types of cool stuff, so we'll catch you there. Hippo, zebra, gorilla. I think they're sleeping. Three little monkeys sitting on a log. You have another set of ducklings for another type of bird in here. They're hanging out in the bushes. They do co-parenting, so mom and dad both do them. Okay. Um, but for this one specifically, I've only ever seen mom take care of them. So, so mama takes care of it, and she's doing a good job. Yeah, she's super protective. <laughs> She will go up against some of our like scarier birds, just to, as we saw, she'll go up against them. Yep. She will go after or up against our hammer tops, which I don't see them right now, but okay. they're a pretty larger bird. Um, so even go, she'll hold her own against our African pygmy geese, which are male in that. He's very protective wow. of his lady and his babies. So that one, it was a little intense on that day, but. Oh, yeah. She's pretty good. She's on her eyes. Good job, Mama. <laughs> Were you shaking the bridge on purpose? I would never. Never. You're very well behaved. Not.
be the baby. How long do they live for? I Average lifespan. I believe that they live about 20 years. Wow. I should have that statistic. Life expectancy. It's a bird Ten years. Ten years for these little guys. But that's the median. So okay. half of them live longer and half okay. of them live less. So there we go. And in human care, they're going to tend to live longer. Gotcha. Well, we just got done with the Gorilla Fall Trail. What do you think? That was awesome. I've That was so cool. And the gorillas were so active. I mean, the two little babies. Mm -hmm. The I young guess, ones. yeah, the young ones were like play fighting and whatnot, like <laughs> slapping on the glass and just, wow, it was just really cool. And then that one gorilla who like started running. Yeah, the bigger guy. I thought he was going to like start beating on his chest. Yeah, we were nervous. We were watching them for a hot yeah, second. Yeah, like, it's crazy. Is anything going to happen? And then the hippo. How about yeah, the, how about the, hippo the was sleeping. how about the cute little baby ducks? The baby ducks. I know. Mama was defensive. And she the, was trying to fight that big bird. The cast member was telling us a little bit about um, their species, and she was saying, which I, you know, put it in the vlog, but the cast member was saying how that species, the mama, is super defensive. Very protective. And takes care of the babies. Yeah. And so, but yeah, that was really fun. So, it is almost one o'clock. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> and we still haven't really had a full meal, so we're gonna use a quick service credit and head to Yak and Yeti. So yep. we're gonna do that now. I'm excited for that because I've never been there. Yes. And we're gonna mobile order. Pro tip mobile order your quick services. See you at lunch. <laughs> So we are passing the Feather Friends in Flight. This is basically a bird show that features several bird. different bird species that Animal Kingdom features. So I've never done it before. Family have done it. They said it's really cute, but I don't know. One day we'll do it. Food is on the agenda right now. We're back with some food and drinks. Finally sat down. It is 1.05 and we have lunch. We went to the Yak and, Chris is already getting to the beer, Yak and Yeti quick service. So real quick, we did use our quick service dining plan for this. I got firecracker shrimp with white rice. And then I got the rib tips with mm. french fries. And those look really good. They do look really good. We did get the coveted mango pie for dessert. Now mm -hmm. this was a snack credit. But with our entrees, we also got an alcoholic beverage included. Yep. And I got the Safari Amber Ale, which is quite tasty. It's very crisp and refreshing. And I got the, I have no idea how to say this. Basically it's a Tokyo sparkling cocktail and it's peach flavored. Here, I'll try to pronounce it. Okay, it's a malt beverage. Takara Chanchuhi, J-pop. All right, let me try it real quick. Give it a go. It looks interesting. Give it a whirl. Sweet. Here, we'll and not as carbonated as I thought it was gonna be. Here, we'll switch. You can try mine and I'll try yours. Oh my God. That is so sweet. Are you gonna be able to finish that? I guess so. Let's dive into this. This looks really good, y'all. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Whoa. You know what? So far on this trip, I have had food envy because everything that Chris has been getting <laughs> is, <laughs> looks good and is way better than my food. Oh my gosh, this is so good, y'all. All right, I need to try it. Yeah, try it. It's so good. It's, it's nice and smoky. 
That glaze on there is delicious. Not too sweet, not too tangy. It's perfect. That is good. Get this, this is, I'm so glad we came here. Chris's rib tips are better than the flame tree barbecue ribs that we got on our last series. Oh yeah, hands down. Those weren't saucy at all. No. These are. These are good. Mm -hmm. And a piece of advice, if you guys can, you know, Chris and I are a duo, and typically when we order food, we try two different things. And that just gives us a good advantage of trying different things, seeing what we like in the parks. You know, there are some things like the sweet and sour chicken waffle at Sleepy Hollow Magic Kingdom that he and I both get our own because we love it. However, when it comes to trying new restaurants, we always tend to get two different entrees, two different apps, whatever, so that way we can try it. And, you know, in, in my experience on this trip, I've liked his food better, so it works out. Proved its point. You just gotta diversify your options, you know what I mean? Yes. So real quick, give our rating. I'd give this like a five out of 10. I think I want to try something different if we were to come back. I'd give the shrimp a three out of 10. Ooh. Not only does it taste just like basic Chinese food, <laughs> it's just, the shrimp's kind of mushy. Yeah. The rice is nice, that's cooked good. The rice is cooked perfect, yeah. See, I'd give that a three mm -hmm. out of 10. Now my ribs, I'm gonna give this a 7.5 out of 10. Okay. If I would have, if it would have came with rice, now you don't have the option to pick French fries yeah. or rice. It comes with French fries. If it would have came with rice, I probably would have given it an eight. But other than that, this is this is. I'd get this again for sure. And we did not mobile order. I'm sorry, guys. When I said that earlier, mobile ordering is not available for this location. Yeah, we, we had to go to the counter. Yeah, we didn't realize that at, at the moment, but, but that's okay. It's all good. We got time. So we're gonna enjoy this, and we'll pick it up in a bit. All right, everyone, it's time to try the Kenny's Minis Mango Pie with the shortbread crust. A slice of paradise. Okay. So apparently this is a, a big thing, right? Yes, it is. And the last time I was here with my sisters in 2021, they mm -hmm. didn't have it. So this is exciting for me. I don't know, we'll see. Is it worth the hype? We'll see. I'll let you know, I'm gonna be honest. Here, you get the first bite. No emotion. I'm waiting for crust. Really? I don't like it. I like it. I like it. It's but like, it's like really soft, slightly creamy. There's not a lot of mango flavor to it. And that shortbread crust is a little overwhelming. It kind of drowns out the feeling. <clears throat> Again, just my preference, you know, I'm not saying that it's not bad. It's it's definitely not that, but I don't like it. So I wouldn't I wouldn't go as far as saying this is a pie. I would say it's kind of like borderline cheesecake. That's what it reminds me that's, of. That's honestly the that's consistency. Really the consistency. It's almost like a very light mango flavored cheesecake. Mm -hmm. I'd give that a two out of ten. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not gonna go that harsh. It's not good. I'm gonna say five out of ten. What did you give it a two? I gave it a two. I'm gonna give it a two too. Well, don't let me, you know, sway your de your decision. No, because the more I'm eating it, the more I'm like, what am I eating? You know, when you like, when you originally taste something, I really like the mouthfeel of it. It reminds me of cheesecake. Yeah. But the more I eat it, the more I'm like, I want mango. Yeah, it doesn't taste like mango at all. Like, not. Not, not even like artificial mango flavor. It just doesn't. It's just. Yellow. No, I'm good on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that we're talking about things that aren't that good, why don't you go over your little uh, J-pop a little bit more? Yeah, this little cocktail thing. It just... It's not good either. <laughs> I mean, hot take here, but... It's just... Um, <clears throat> was it even carbonated at all? It's a premium malt beverage with natural flavors, and the flavor is white peach. It does have 6.5% alcohol, but... First of all, I'm not in the mood to drink like that right now. I'm really hot and I just want my water, which I have right now. Which is good. But 
I was expecting that to be like carbonated and it's like flat. It's very, it's barely carbonated yeah. and it is just like sugar in a can. It is just like excessively sweet. Well, it's like processed and all that. Now I will say because it came included with my meal on the dining plan, I'm not going to say anything with the cast member, but I think if I were to pay out of pocket for this and didn't like it, I I'm think I would go up and just say, hey, you know, I really, this is really flat. Can I get something else? And I'm pretty sure that they would accommodate me. But to me, it's not that big of a deal. Why don't we at least try? If you want to. But like I said, I just, I just want to, I just want yeah, my water. I and that. I have food in me. And we're going to die just a little bit before yeah. going on Mount Everest. And go from there. I think we're going to finish... Well, I'm going to finish my beer. I'm going to finish my water. <laughs> and then we're heading over to Expedition Everest, yeah. which is our favorite ride in Animal Kingdom. Besides Planet Passage. We're going to finish this, walk on over there, and we'll see you in uh, Expedition Everest. Cheers. This is the standby queue today, guys. This is why you gotta save up to get Genie Plus. Because it pays for itself. You know us, front row, baby. Front row. Come on, baby. Front row, baby. I'm gonna try to do no reaction. You think I can do it? I always try, but I never <laughs> can. Yawn, yawn. Boring. Boring part. For y'all that are just joining us for the first time in our last vlog series, which is our honeymoon, I lost my phone on Space Mountain. And when I mean I lost it, it took us about a half an hour to get it back. Maybe I should start putting my phone in my fanny pack. So, anyways. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, I think we're, that's it, right? We're done? We're done with rides, so now let's go shopping. That's never good. When Samantha says that, that's my wallet hurts. Okay. Let's go. So what's our favorite character? Uh, my favorite character? Mm, that's a good one. Are we talking about just like the OG ones, like Goofy, Donald, or just yeah, I, yeah, everything? Let's go with one of those. I have more trivia on that. I'm a big Goofy fan. What was his original name? Goofy's original name? Oh, that's a good one. I, I, I don't know. I know someone said it, and I was like, that's interesting, but what was his original name? He actually started out without a name. Um, he, he was actually a side character. Okay. Um, just appeared in, uh, I think, um, Mickey's uh, concert or something like that. He was yeah. in the audience. Oh, uh, then what? He got the, then he got the name Dippy Dog. Dippy Dog. Uh, Dippy Dog. Shortly after that, they 
kind of progress to Dippy the Goof. Um, and you can actually still find, uh, if you're lucky, on eBay, a, a book titled Dippy the Goof. Stop. Oh, that's cool. But from, from that, um, it, was, it took like four or five years for him to actually obtain the name Goofy. Interesting. Wow. So he was just a side character. No yeah, he, he was not. He was definitely a B character. How one? All right. I wanted to discuss something real quick with you all. It was raining earlier in Animal Kingdom, in which you guys saw we have Genie Plus today. During that rain shower, I had a lightning lane selected for Mount Everest. We just got done with Mount Everest. However, earlier when that time slot kicked on, it was between 10 and 11. It was poor. So what Disney does is if you have lightning lane for a specific ride that goes down for either, you know, just goes down because the ride breaks or weather conditions, Disney World will offer you a multi-experience pass and it'll automatically go on your app. And you know you have it if you go to the hamburger, select Genie Plus, go to my day, and it should be on that area. I'll go ahead and put a screen recording so you guys can see what that looks like. So once that multi-experience pass was provided for Chris and I for our Genie Plus selection, we were then able to then again select Mount Everest because technically we did not redeem our lightning lane for Genie Plus. So what did I do? It was still raining. I selected Mount Everest again and it worked again. Because it was raining and the ride was down, I then got a second multi-experience pass, which has, I've never had that happen before, which was great news for Chris and I because we have some must-dos tonight in Magic Kingdom, and you can use those multi-experience pass for any regular lightning lane option. That does not include the lightning lanes that you pay for, which include Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, Flight of Passage, Guardians, and Rise of the Resistance in Hollywood Studios. All those other rides that are on Genie Plus that are free, you can select those rides. So fun fact for you guys, hope that helps. This is my dance for what Samantha just said. I can't dance. We can dance if you want to, we can leave our kids behind. There ain't no friends of mine. Samantha can't sing. So, I can't dance, she can't sing. But I can select lightning lanes. She sure as heck can. I could not, listen, if it wasn't for Samantha, first off, I wouldn't be here. And I could not do Disney. I would not know what to do. I'd have a horrible time. So I am thankful for my wife. And I am just thankful and blessed that we can do this and show you guys and just hang out and meet all the wonderful Wonderlanders out there. And I just, I can't wait to, continue to do this so thank you all for what y'all do by watching and all the support and love and we really do feel blessed so let's go shopping as much as I don't want to but let's do it Chris loves Kevin Chris is like I gotta go see him or her excuse me Kevin pit stop we're gonna go and discovery trading company it is one of the main one of the two main stores here at Animal Kingdom and oh my OMG the AC feels so good <laughs> so just just want a, a little side note Kevin I told Kevin some sad news that I brought her some chocolate but I got hungry and ate it but you can't give Kevin chocolate because it's bad for the other animals. So they said that I can bring Kevin berries and fish. So I promised Aww. the next time I saw Kevin, I'd bring some fish. So well, you better remember. I remember. I'm not going to forget about Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's a girl. Those are cool. What are those? They're just they're castle? Called, they're called Mickey ears. I, well, I know, I know what they them. are, but oh. a part of what collection? They're just generic gold dusted. 
They're kind of cool. ears with the castle. Yeah, those are pretty. They are. No price. They're free. Come on. No, they're not free. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They're. I, I would guess thirty nine ninety nine because that's typically what they're. Or you can get two for thirty piece. Oh, that's cool. Those Select ear bands. Yeah. So they're those running a sale right now. They should have Kevin Mickey ears. With like a chocolate bar in the middle. So new summer Disney Eats collection. We have the mint Mickey bar, which actually doesn't exist in real life, but Disney has been doing this Eats collection. And here are the ears. Let me take them off so you guys can get a good, good look at them. How cute are those? They're like little ice cream sandwiches. Yeah, and then you see the little Disney Eats collection. Those are beautiful. $39.99. And the backpack is $88. Do you want to tell all the Wonderlanders out there what your first birthday present for me was? It was a Dooney and Burke, the sketch Walt Disney World collection. Which, which is, is right, right here. here. Now, the, the bag that Chris got me is retired. It's a retired tote and I'll insert a photo so you guys can see what it exactly looks like but it's like one of my most prized possessions and I really want to add to the collection. You know Chris, every time I go in the parks I always look at it. The so, tote bag, the big one, right? Uh, there's a nylon bag that I have my eye on but of course the traveler bag down there. That's something I'm looking at. Maybe the wallet, but it's just, it's one of those things that like it's a collection so you can grow and grow and yeah. grow the collection and keep it forever. They're Dooney and Burke, so they're like yeah. designer pieces. I want to get you the Dooney and Burke ears that match that though. Yeah, they, uh, we're, we're trying to hunt those down. So we'll see if we can find them in Magic maybe tonight. Just look how good she looks with this thing. How much is it? I say 300. Or, or <gasps> 375. Oh my goodness gracious. 455. Oh my god. Just put just put that back. Well now the question is, do you get discounts on them? Even if we did, I mean still, woof, four hundred dollars. That's why I haven't pulled the trigger yet. It's a big purchase. But one day, one day you'll come home with me. Which means I'm gonna buy it. One day. All right, Wonderlanders, I think I found my next purchase. Look at this dope fanny pack. Oh my gosh. I might have to get this. Um, I might. Oh. So cool. And I love a fanny pack with multiple pockets. And it is $39.99 for this. Yeah, this is gonna come home with me, I'm sorry, but I gotta get it. Uh-oh. What did we find? Okay, well, story with this. I saw this on Instagram, I knew I had to have it. It's minimalistic, it's beige, gotta have it. So I don't know how much it costs because the tag doesn't say it, but I don't care because it's going to come home with me. And then, last night at Epcot, we showed you guys this line of the just generic Walt Disney World, and I yep. slept on it, and I want the backpack. I want the mini backpack because I can use this for the parks. Now, Chris, I'm actually gonna kind of try it on real quick. Well, hey, yeah, that's comfortable. Disney girl, that's nice. And it's one of those pieces that it's so generic. I can literally wear it wherever, whenever. I want to take one more quick look and then we are going to check out and get out of here. Yeah, I'm ready to relax. This is the 2024 collection, and Chris is trying on the bucket hat. I think it looks cool. Well, the cool thing about it is it's reversible. Oh, that is cool. You just have to cut off the CVS of a receipt. Does it, look at me, does it say, yeah, it says 2024 Walt Disney World on the front. I know, I know. I'm Disney, what are you doing? 3499 I'm gonna stick with the fanny pack. This is cool though, I gotta admit. Okay. But I'm gonna stick with the fanny pack. I'm gonna do that. That is a wrap on Animal Kingdom for this trip.
I think we did good. I think so too. We got everything we wanted done. We got some merch. Yeah. We rode some rides. Ate some food. Drank some drinks. <laughs> saw some animals. We saw Kevin twice. I got to, I love Kevin. Kevin's, Kevin's my girl. I mean, this is really my girl, but Kevin's my we girl. We know what you mean. So, let's yep. head out of the park, catch our bus, yeah. and go back home, our temporary home. But that All right. was awesome. Well, let's see what happens next.